welcome to Climax. My name remains Krista Chris and I am the most sensational personality on the internet. If you are in doubt, kindly subscribe and you're going to know why. If you're seeing my face for the first time, you're lucky. Kindly subscribe so that you get to see more exciting episodes on this channel. And very quickly, today is my gossip day. Today I feel like telling stories and I feel like just sharing, you know, this amazing story with you. Now, I do not know my fate after this story. I don't know what, what is going to happen to me when I'm done telling you the story and when I decide to go back to my village because this is a well-kept secret. Doesn't mean I'm a, I'm a snitch. <laughs> not really. I want to draw something important out of this story so that I can better your life, which is what Climax is all about. So I would advise that you sit tight and listen. Then my lips has been itching. Tell the story. Tell the story. Share the story. Tell the world the story. And here am I. People from my village, I apologize. I am sorry. And I hope I don't get ostracized. Is that what they call it? Well, I'm sure that one village somewhere in the world will be glad to adopt me. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you a story about my people and how they missed an opportunity which um, was actually a very crucial one in my community. Story time. Are you ready? Story, 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 story. Now, before I proceed with the story, do me the favor. Kindly subscribe. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Now, where I come from, I come from Imo State in Nigeria. And I come from a village called... Umeze one. Yes. Okay, now in my village, precisely my village is Umunangomo, right? In my village, proud to this time, of course, now that we have um more knowledge, now that we have um innovations and all of that. But proud to this time, we didn't have water in my village. We didn't have water. So we would travel for miles just to go and get a pot of water or a bucket of water or a keg of water, a can of water, however you want to put it. So it was really a struggle. We we're known as a village without water. And the next village was actually a bit far. So this made our stay during festive period when we would travel from the city to the village. This made our stay very stressful. You know how you're celebrating festive seasons, but for some reasons, you do not have water. Like we all know water is crucial. Water is needed. Water is important. And now you go to the village and there is no water. And everybody's saying, oh, manage that water. Do you want to use all of that water to bait? No, reduce that water. So it was a very uncomfortable situation. And then I began digging. What was the reason? Why don't we have water? That is the story I want to share with you. Now, some certain elders we believed in the past to have gone to the um, witch doctor. And then they said to him, we need water. We need water. Why is it that we don't have water? And he said to them, get me a light-skinned child as well as a dark-skinned child and you're going to have water. And then the elders of my village, being very good people, being nice people, they said to themselves, no way. There is no way we're going to sacrifice any of our children because we want water. So we rather go and stress ourselves looking for water than to sacrifice our children. Now, he said to them, the exact word he said to them was, Mocha Umoji. So it means, get me a light skinned child and a black skinned child, and you have water. That was pretty simple. But he said to themselves, no, we're not going to do that. Kudos. Kudos, 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 kudos to the kind-hearted elders that I have in my village. But we had the consequences. The consequence, consequences were, was that we'd have to travel miles and miles and miles to get water, which I experienced. It was a very tough one. Now, what story am I bringing out of this? So they came back home and they continued in their suffering. 
But the nearby village, that's the place we go to get water, their elders said, oh, we also want water. And they went to the chief priest and they said, oh, we want water. And he gave them the same recommendation. Get this and get this, and then you have water. And then they went back to him. They went back to their village. And then they said to themselves, no, we don't want, we wouldn't want to sacrifice our children. What do we do? And then they went back to the chief priest. And he said, no, what's the way forward? Can you help us interpret this? Because this is too much. This, this is too much. We cannot do this. It's too much. Now, here, here this. This is where the story becomes spicy and interesting. And then the chief priest said, no, that was a riddle. I wasn't asking you for a live child like a human being. I was simply asking you for an ant. The ant represents the black child and the, the, um, an egg represents the white child. So if you would bring these items, then you have water. And they said, that, is that all? And he said, yes. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. <laughs> I don't know the rest. I don't know the rest. I would have, I would have sung my heart out. So these elders, they quickly got an ant and an egg. And boom, water came, water came flowing in their land. And then we would travel all the way to get water from there. So what lesson exactly am I bringing out from this? When you have a difficult task, when you have a complicated task, when you have um, a coded thing to do, task to do, look for help, ask for help, seek knowledge. Don't go back and say, okay, I don't want to do this. Yes, they didn't want to do it, but they didn't go to look for other means and other ways to go about it. It's a good thing that they didn't want to shed blood. Good. But what next? How do we do it? How do we do this? So it shouldn't be a do or die issue when it comes to handling challenges or difficulty or responsibilities. If it's not done this way, it can be done that way. There are 101 ways that issue in your life can be resolved. So why are you there crying? Why are you mourning? Why are you grieving? Why? Why are you sitting on ashes and thinking that your life is over because someone told you that was the only way out? No. Emancipate yourself from that mental slavery. Break off the chains and look around. There are all the, always ways to make that thing right. I don't know if I'm speaking to you, but I hope that with this point that I've given to you, I've been able to convince you and not confuse you without all reasonable doubt that there are other ways you can solve that issue instead of dying in it, instead of breaking your account, instead of stealing, instead of, um, instead of hurting others, instead of, uh, instead of going into vices instead of spending hours or months on that particular uh, task there are many ways you can do it to make your life easy this is the advent of ai you can use it to make your life easy you can ask for help you can seek knowledge you can ask uh, for mentors, people who would guide you so that you don't repeat the same error that others have done. You don't need to travel through the thorns and through through the rains and through the storm. There are trail breakers who are ready to share their knowledge with you. What do you do? You reach out to them to make your life easy. Having given you the secrets, just pray for me. I don't know what my fate is when I get back to the village because... I have exposed the foolishness. Sorry, I didn't say that. I just exposed the things that the elders in my village did. And ah, thank God for knowledge. Things are way better now. The advent of um, 
borehole, water um, tap, and you know different uh, channels of getting water has made life easier. So we can travel to the village and just have a swell time, enjoy our stay, and come back to the city. The village. If you're listening to me and you're not a Nigerian, <laughs> it's the same as your country home. That's basically what we call it here in Nigeria. So traveling back to the country home, those are the challenges that we went um, through. But knowledge, like I said right now, has given us other ways to bring technology. So yes, they also wouldn't have done what the other people did, but there are ways they would have thought about, you know, making life, life easier for the people in the village like technology and knowledge has done we have different ways and methods where we can get water from which is simply amazing and with this i come to the end of today's episode on climax and i would like to say a big cheers to your growth until i see you next time goodbye